baptisms and we'll do our uh, baby dedication after that. If you need to go, I understand. If you can stay, I think you'll be blessed, okay? You'll be blessed. So Bradley and Mary and Piper, whoever's helping you, if you guys want to go, we'll go ahead and get changed for the baptisms. And then after that, we change clothes and get ourselves put back together and we'll have the baby dedication up here. Brother Dave's going to take over the service at this time. If you like to, we'll do another hymn. Uh, turn to page 381. If you would. Stand up for Jesus. Stand up.
go ahead and read this. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that He is living. Whatever men may say, I see His hand of mercy. I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I need Him, He's always here. He
Well, this play made him great. So you can stay in line if you like. Uh, let me get there. Cause I mean, I need to read it. Pick yourself.
about coming up. As I said, it wasn't that many years ago that Bradley was dedicated right here in this building. And what a blessing is to see him come back to Solomon Lord Baptism. You know, Gregory James is with us today. And Richard, did you want to share anything with uh, Gregory's been a huge blessing for our family. And we had a, I don't want to go into all the detail of it, but we had a virus pregnancy with him. And um, a verse that carried me through, I don't, I'm just paraphrasing it from Joshua, but before, um, before you were born, I, I knew you in the womb or something like that. And um, so we knew that God had special plans for this little guy. And, you know, we had some really dire diagnoses from the doctors, and we had a healthy baby. Um, I stayed healthy, and at the end, our doctor told us there's no medical explanation for this. There's, there's nothing. Um, I, we don't have an answer for you on why everything turned out to be okay. And I said, we had a lot of people praying for us, Amen. and God worked a miracle. a beautiful family <laughs> with the miracle baby and the miracle mother and we are it pays to serve God for us. <laughs> so they come today to dedicate this precious baby Gregory James Kirkhoff back to the Lord. The family by God is a divine institution ordained of God from the beginning of time. And children, like precious little Gregory, are one of God's greatest blessings. It is well pleasing to God, therefore, that this family comes before us this day in gratitude for this great gift and to dedicate Gregory back to God who so graciously gave him. Like Mary and Hannah of old, you have brought your child to the house of God to present Gregory James to the Lord. A couple of scriptures say, Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7, These words which I command you this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in the house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, when thou risest up. And Proverbs 22 and 6 tells us to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Rachel and Ken, as you have brought Gregory to God's house to dedicate him to God, when you bow as we are instructed in Ephesians 6 and 4 to raise him in the fear and admonition of the Lord, doing all you can to teach him about the word, the love and the ways of God. Yes. Your family, will you bow to help support them in their endeavors yeah. to raise them the yes. world? Yes. Amen. Let us pray. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it warms our heart and thrills our soul to see little children, Lord, coming to you and following in baptism and being dedicated to you because they realize, Lord, the source of their blessings and their strength and their power. And we pray, Lord, uh, today that as these parents and the extended family seek to raise Gregory, that you would give them wisdom and knowledge from your love and from your word and from your spirit. And you'd help them to raise him so that, Lord, in days ahead, if it be thy will, we might see you our way to to baptize him in the days ahead. May you give Rachel and give Ken, Lord, the strength, Lord, that they need and the wisdom and the backbone they need to defy, Lord, what the world will try and share and raise this young man in the ways of God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 We won't have a dismissal prayer today, but if you'd like to come up and let these young folks that were baptized among you be praying for them and encourage them, please do so. If you'd like to just rub off on Gregory, he's a blessing. Tell Miss Rachel and Ken how much you love and appreciate them this morning. Please feel free to do so. We'll be back for service tonight at 6 o'clock. Please come back if you can. We have a Cedar Point trip Tuesday. Be praying for the trip. Don tells me we have a couple spots available on the van. It still doesn't have a ride. Is that correct? And we're looking for kids and volunteers for kids. Day. Don't volunteer to help us with kids. Day. See you if you can. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see Don right over there if you need information about Cedar Point. But everyone else, come on up and, and wish these guys well. Tell them how much you love them. I appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>